when we speak about what people can do uh, when they're stressed out on an LA freeway, um, when they're about to go into a meeting with a boss and you're anticipating something not going well, when you're coming home and your relationship hasn't been good, the time-tested method and the one that we now know, see, I don't want to just tell you things without telling you how I know and why I have the privilege to be even asked that question. To me, it's meditative breathing. It's a very powerful way to quell that anxiety storm that those instinctive structures have done. I'm going to see my boss, and those subcortical structures are firing, and they're unhappy, much like you'd see a snake where you're at the edge of a cliff. There's certain things that should be released in your body, but those have been... Uh, repurposed in a negative, destructive way where we feel that at work, we feel that at home, we feel that when we look at certain social media. How do we tamp that down? Just like we would slowly walk away from a fear of heights, how do we walk away from just the general anxiety that's filled our life during the day? And I deeply uh, believe, and particularly now because there's hardcore data, and I'll go into this a little bit, is meditative breathing. I don't know what mindfulness is. I don't know what your mind is thinking or my mind is thinking or your mind is thinking. But I know that that the brain is connected to the lungs and the heart through this thing called a wandering nerve. It comes down. And that that the brain can send signals down to your heart and Buddhist monks can slow down their heartbeat. I know when I put a little coil on there for people with epilepsy, kids with epilepsy, a vagal nerve stimulator, and we send electricity, the electricity can actually go upward into your brain and quell epilepsy. Epilepsy seizure is an aberrant uh, electrical activity of your brain. Think of it as an arrhythmia of your heart is epilepsy of the brain. It's called a vagal nerve stimulator. It's been around for a while. This is something you can look up right now. We put electrical coil on this nerve, and it calms electricity. It's not even in the brain. But meditated breathing, deep breathing, an in, in a count of four to go in, a count of... Three, two, one, to hold and a slow release. If you do that just a little bit before you engage in that next stress-provoking task, it too works like a vagal nerve stimulator without us having to do a little surgery to calm the electricity in your brain. And you're saying, well, okay, that sounds, where did you get that? Well, well you, know, you know, meditation has been going on for a long time. We've seen Buddhist monks do certain things and others, deep divers are a great example of that. But we, we know this now because a study came out last year they went through like meditative breathing with these patients and these kids and these young people and they're watching the electricity change and get closer to that alpha wave, get closer to the calmer electrical signals in their brain after just deep, slow, deliberate breathing. And that's accessible to us all without having to pay for it. It is a resource available to you that has been harnessed for, for millennia, and that now you have crazy brain surgeons yeah. providing you the electrical proof if you're a skeptical kind of person. To me, that's magic. Yeah.